Hey YouTube, it's Florida Deer here again, trying to fix John Deere's light bar design flaw on the 1023 and 1025, and maybe the 1026 are as well, I don't know. Um, anyway, I, I wouldn't be so opposed to purchasing a new, very expensive light bar for whatever it is, 80 or 90 bucks, but I'm afraid that like, you know, like this one, I would take it off again and, and break it and I do have the old one right there. So I might sell it for pieces or, you know, send it to somebody that needs one or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, um, I wanted to give a shout out to Alex Plant, um, uh, another guy from the Facebook webpage. Uh, for the group, he is a um, guy from way up north in Canada, in Quebec. And I think I pronounced his name correctly, Alex Plant. He does have an E at the end of the name, so um, you know, maybe he can correct me on that, but, um, anyways, he came up with a light bar design or with a light, you know, using this light bar for the, for the deer. And I think it works great because it's exactly the same width as the ROP system, as opposed to this design flaw by deer. Anyway, I love my deer, but I, I just think that they should think through some things and change some things as they often do um to get those um things so this is still the research and development so this will probably be part one so i have magnets and velcro holding this thing here so as you can see the magnet comes off of one and the velcro is off the other so anyways the cool part is if it breaks loose then you can put the velcro or the magnet back so whichever one i use um should be you know should work so um i left these um wires out so you can see it's green to yellow black to black that is for the orange light and then orange to green and then the other black to the red and then this gray and white wire are duds because they probably go to the backup light which we don't use because we don't have a backup light we just have the orange and the red so um i'll kind of go through it right now um, so the first notch is the blinkers, okay, both blink, doing good so far. This is where it, I couldn't duplicate the stock setting, so you turn the headlights on in the next setting, okay, and the blinkers are still blinking, but the brake light is on. Now, I, I don't really know why the brake light is on. I mean, it, it's always been that way, and that's the way I guess it's supposed to work, but I don't know why like when you're driving down the road or something, you have the blinkers on, but you also have the brake light on when there's no brakes on. So anyways, and then when you turn on all the lights, the brake light stays on, all the blinkers go off. And this is the, uh, this is the setting, I guess, to get the blinkers to come off. Um, and then that is also, I did upgrade the 1023 with those um, LEDs in addition to the uh, headlights. Anyway. That's a different video. Um, and then also, so this was the thing I had some trouble figuring out is setting the brake. Um, actually, you have to have the key on. So once the key on and you set the brake, the brake light comes on there and the brake light comes on there. So again, success. Now we'll go ahead and take the brake off. Okay. And then we'll try the turn signals. We got left hand, left hand turn signal. The right is solid. I'm gonna turn right now. And then we got the right turn signal blinking. And the left one is solid. So again, success. Um, I actually think this worked out better than the the regular situation with the brake light staying on when the brake light doesn't need to be on so um so i think right I'm, I'm basically down to is this is a way better light bar system although it's sort of cheap chinese stuff but i mean it was the one that fit and i might do some more research to find a better quality light at some point in time but it works for now um and i guess they're not sealed i think is what one of the guys said so it might be good to you know open this up maybe put some silicone in there to seal it up if you think you're gonna get it in the weather. And then again, I have to work through this 
uh, mess of wires to kind of tie it up and then also figure out the mounting of it, how I'm gonna exactly do that. Um, but overall, I think it's headed in the right direction. Um, if you guys have any um, recommendations on how to tuck the wires or how to mount it, Velcro versus some U-bolt, and Alex was telling me about the U-bolt situation, but the lens is, goes the whole way here, so I don't know if you really could put a U-bolt around that without cranking it down hard, you know, you'd crank it down hard enough to keep it there, but it might be too hard to break the break the actual lens. So, um, but again, there might be another light out there that could be used for that. But if you do have any better ideas, um, or a, a little twist of an idea, um, put it in the comment section if you would. If you did like the video, you know, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos similar to uh, this one for the one series John Deere and uh, garden tractors hit the subscribe button um, I will probably make a part two when I arrange that a little bit better and um, I'll post that as well but thanks for watching good night